Gigaparts has a brand new modular backpack. Something which they showed us, myself and three or four other YouTubers, were at the Huntsville Ham Fest in August of 2022. And they showed us a prototype, they took feedback, and they took our suggestions, and I wanted to show it to you today. Let's go. All right, so this is the bag itself. And the cool thing about this bag is that it is modular, like I said a minute ago. They are planning to add, there's there's currently two different modules that are available to it. You can buy the bag by itself. You can buy the module by itself. This is the 705 module for the for the IC705. I guess I'm gonna have to go get my IC705, put it in there in a second. And this is the module, which is called their universal module. They call it the uh, Explorer Modular Universal Pack. I'm gonna open that up here in a second. They sent me two of those. So I don't know if you can put all two of those in there or not, but... Okay, so in another video, I talked about my patches. Boom, patch. Patch right there. <laughs> now it's official, boys. So that's the outside pocket there. Lots of Molly connections there, both inside and outside. That's really cool. Molly connections there. Ugh. Okay, let's open this up. So there it is right there. It's got a drink holder, water bottle pocket on this side and this side with a drawstring. So most of your packs these days have that. It's got, and I, this looks like really, I'm sorry, this feels like very well sewn material. Three Molly slots over here, three Molly slots on the back, on the side rather, on both sides. The small pack up top here with some uh, inserts in there. I guess you could put like, I don't know, maybe a small tripod in there or something. So, another, more Velcro stuck stuff there, or Velcro backing, I should say, and then small pack on top. It's got this handle, like that, and then let's zip that up, and the whole thing opens. I carried a 511 backpack for a while, and I switched away from it to my Switchblade Iberla stock pack. And the main reason I did that is because the 511 pack has a laptop pocket on the inside, which is very hard to get to if you have anything in the main pocket at all. And I just didn't like that. This one here opens up, and it fully, very much like Mike's, uh, very much like my Iberla stock bag. It opens fully up. These are these are two. There's two different places here for a portable telescoping mast. Put your Gigaparts telescoping mast in there, or your MFJ or fiberglass or whatever kind of mast in there you want to. It's got, this is all Velcro right here. Now, here's the thing. These will attach here. And one of the comments we made at the Gigaparts store last August was that it didn't have a laptop pocket. It has no laptop pocket here on the back or inside. And Gigaparts told me basically it would have doubled the price to add a pocket to the bag for whatever reason, who knows why. Just whoever's manufacturing the bag decided to charge that much for it. So our suggestion was make a laptop pocket that's got Velcro on both sides of it and put it right there on the back. And then it'll have Velcro on the top to attach all these things to. So that's what they're working on right now. They're working on one of those and that'll be one of the next modules you see. Let me open this up. All right, this is the universal module. You see it's got the Velcro on it there. And then it's got one zipper on it. Opens up pouch with a kind of a mesh thing on the front of it there so it's breathable. You can kind of see what's in it. So again, universal, not really meant for anything specific. That can go right there. And then this is your 705 pouch, which I, I, should, I guess I should go get my 705. There's your 705 pouch. That opens up like that. You can put that like that. Put your 705 in it, and you can take it out of there and carry your 705 with the handle on it. So that makes it really convenient. Let me go get my 705. This video is sponsored by Mezzi and Palomi Coax. Mezzi and Palomi, or M&P Coax out of Italy, makes some of the best coax and best feed line available to the amateur radio community today. From their smallest size around 5 millimeters to their largest size around 13 millimeters and beyond, they offer something for everyone 
in every activity of amateur radio. Direct Berry Coax for your home shack and high temperature coax for those types of environments is also available from their catalog. Their Evo or Evolution PL259 connectors are some of the best I have ever seen in this industry. If you want some of the greatest coax and feed line made for the amateur radio community today, check out the link in the description below to save a 5% discount and thank you Mezzi and Plomy for supporting this channel. All right, here's my 705 in it, but my 705 has the POV cage on it. And it makes it wider this direction, and it makes it just a bit taller this direction, but no deeper. This fits in here real nice and snug, but I can't zip the pocket over the top of it because of the POV cage. Now, if you don't have a POV cage, some people like these cages, some people don't. I don't know, but this thing would fit, you can tell, this thing would fit very nice and snugly inside of this pocket if I took the POV cage off. So I need to decide if I want to do that or if I want to just leave it. I actually have a separate box right now that I keep my 705 in with some antennas and accessories and whatnot. So I don't really need this part of the backpack, but it is there for people who might like it. So maybe I'll just use that case for something else. You know what? I might put my X6100 in there because it doesn't have a cage on it. There you go. <laughs> But that is a that I mean that you can tell by by putting it down in there It would fit my 705 just very snug and almost perfectly if it wasn't for the POV cage But that's my choice to have the POV cage and that's just uh, that's where we are right now But that's what the the pocket looks like there again that can and this thing's got Velcro that opens up on all four flaps here. So it not only sticks on the bottom But you can stick it like this was extra secure like that so what I would probably do is put this if I had my 705 in that I probably put this on the top and then or I might even turn the 705 this way so that the antenna port is sticking straight up and put one of those MFJ telescoping HF whips on it that might be kind of fun and then I can move this down put it down here have my 705 over there I could put this just holding one one hand with the uh, holding the camera with one hand <laughs> I can put that like that, zip it to where it, that zips all the way up to the top because there's two zippers on it. Be a lot easier if I didn't have one hand holding the camera right there. There you go. So you can easily access that from the top of the bag. You can put your 705 case here like that with an antenna sticking out the top and then run your microphone cable and you could even, you know, backpack and talk on hf at the same time if you wanted to this guy right here is plenty of room for this other pouch down here or something else and again their laptop sleeve that they're creating will have velcro on both sides so these will fit it'll have this type of velcro on one side and this type of velcro on the other side so it'll stick directly to this and then all of these uh extra pouches will stick on top of the laptop case and I'm like, why not do it that way? And they thought that was a good idea. In fact, I, I don't even remember if that was my idea. There was three or four of us at the Gigaparts store last August, and I think that was an idea that we came up came up with as a group. I haven't shown you this yet. This is the lid of the backpack. There's a nice pocket there, a nice pocket there. Yep. And then this right here could something else could go there, perhaps like a small tripod or telescoping mast or something circular heck you could even put a water bottle there if you wanted to i guess so and then th there that is and then you've got the loops over there perfect patch and this is the back of it right here it does not have the uh i forget what they're called it doesn't have the, the special type of carrying straps that are adjustable up here for long trail hiking it's not really meant for that so be aware of that but it does have a belt strap so you've got a strap to strap the two shoulder straps together and then you've got a belt strap to go around your waist in case you want that so modular explorer backpack from gigaparts again you can save a five percent discount with the coupon code of kc5hwb at the link below and here's the thing let gigaparts know what you would like to see if there's a certain radio i believe someone had mentioned a pocket for the ft818 if I'm not mistaken, or maybe even the 857 or 891. 891 is still in production. Maybe it'd be, be a better idea to have an 891 pocket in there, something with 100 watts. That'd be good. But reach out to Gigaparts. Let them know. Say, hey, I'd like you to make a pocket for this. I'd like you to make a pocket for this. If enough people ask for it, they might actually make it. 
And then once this thing has been out for a while, now you've got, instead of just two different options, which is the 705 and the universal pouch, soon to be three with the laptop pouch, once you get 10 or 12 or 15 different options, this will make a very good modular universal backpack for all kinds of things inside of ham radio and even in inside of uh, camping and exploring. Let me know if you're going to pick one of these up and what you think about it when you do. If you enjoyed this video, check out the videos over here on the side for more items from Gigaparts that you can save a 5% discount with the coupon code of KC5HWB. Almost said Jason, but that's not it. KC5HWB73.